is Jay Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to see a problem from Fourier series. Problem. Obtain the Fourier series for the function f of x equals 3 power x in 0 to 2 pi. That is open interval 0 to 2 pi. Okay. Solution. Given function. Given function is f of x equals to e power x in open interval 0 to 2 pi. Okay. The required Fourier series is f of x equals to a naught y2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos nx plus b n sin nx where a naught equals to 1 by pi into integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into dx and an equals to 1 by pi into integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into cos nx into dx and bn equals to 1 by pi into integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into sin nx dx okay so firstly we'll find a naught a n b n and finally, we'll substitute f of x a naught a n b n here. So that will get the required for your series of the given function. Firstly, we'll find a naught. To find a naught, we have a naught equals to 1 by pi into integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into dx. So this is equals to 1 by pi into integral 0 to 2 pi. We are having f of x equals to e power x into dx. Integral e power x is e power x under limit 0 to 2 pi. Okay. So now we'll apply the limits. Now we'll apply the upper limit for x equals to 2 pi. We'll have e power 2 pi minus. Now we'll apply the lower limit for x equals to 0. We'll have e power 0. So this equals to 1 by pi into e power 2 pi minus value of e power 0 is 1. So this equals to e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi. Therefore, a naught equals to e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi. Now we will find a n. To find v a n, we have a n equals to 1 by pi into integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into cos n x to dx. So this equals to 1 by pi into integral 0 to 2 pi e power x into cos n x into dx. Since we know that integral e power a x into cos b x dx is equals to e power a x by a square plus b square into a cos bx plus b sine bx. Okay. For a equals to 1 and b equals to n, you could write it as 
वन बाय पाई इनटू ई पार ई पार एक्स बाय ए स्क्वेयर दैट इज वन स्क्वेयर प्लस बी स्क्वेयर दैट इज एन स्क्वेयर इनटू ए कॉस बी एक्स दैट इज वन इनटू कॉस एन एक्स प्लस b sin b x under limit 0 to 2 pi okay fine so this equals to 1 by pi into e power x by 1 square is 1 plus n square into cos nx plus n sin nx under limit 0 to 2 pi. So this is equals to 1 by pi into now we will apply the limits. For x equals to 2 pi, for upper limit x equals to 2 pi, you will have e power 2 pi by 1 plus n square into cos n into 2 pi is 2n pi plus n sin n into 2 pi is 2n pi minus now apply the lower limit for x equals to 0 we will have e power 0 by 1 plus n square into cos n into 0 is 0 plus n into sin n into 0 is 0. So this becomes 1 by pi into e power 2 pi since we have cos 2n pi equals to 1. Sin 2n pi equals to 0, cos 0 equals to 1, and sin 0 equals to 0. We'll have cos 2n pi value 1, and here you're having sin 2n pi. Since sin 2n pi is 0, so this total term becomes 0. Here, value of e power 0 is 1, value of cos 0 is 1. Value of sine 0 is 0 since sine 0 is 0. So n into 0 will be 0. So this total term becomes 0. Okay. So you could write it as by 1 plus n square into 1. Minus value of e power 0 is 1 by 1 plus n square into 1. Okay. You have only cos 0 here, so you have 1. Here also you are having cos 2 and pi, which has value 1. So, you will have only one term here and here, right? So, this is equals to 1 by pi and 2 e power 2 pi by 1 plus n square minus 1 by 1 plus n square. So, you could write it as 1 by pi into e power 2 pi minus 1 by 1 plus n square. So you can write it as e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi into 1 plus n square. Therefore, a power n equals to e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi into 1 plus n square. Therefore, not a naught, this is a n. Sorry. Therefore, a n equals to e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi into 1 plus n square. Okay. Now, we will find for b n. 
to find bn, we have bn equals to 1 by pi into integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into sin nx into dx. So this equals to 1 by pi into integral 0 to 2 pi f of x is equal to x into sin nx dx. Since we know that integral e power ax into sin bx to dx is equal to e power ax by a square plus b square into a sin bx minus b cos bx. Okay. So now compare this with the formula. You will have a equals to 1 and b equals to n. For a equals to 1 and b equals to n, you can write it as e power 1 into x is x by a square is 1 square plus b square is n square into a is 1 into sin nx minus n into cos nx. Okay. At the limit 0 to 2 pi. So now we will apply the limits, upper limit and the lower limit. So this equals to 1 by pi into e power for x equals to 2 pi. We will have e power 2 pi by 1 square is 1 plus n square into sin. n into 2 pi is 2n pi minus n into cos n into 2 pi is 2n pi minus now apply the lower limit 0. For x equals to 0, you will have e power 0 by 1 square is 1 plus n square into sin n into 0 is 0 minus n into cos n into 0 is 0. Okay. Since sin 2n pi equals to 0, cos 2n pi equals to 1. Sin 0 equals to 0 and cos 0 equals to 1. Okay. Since the value of sin 2 and pi is 0, so this becomes 0. And value of cos 2 and pi is 1. Value of sin 2 and pi is 0, so this becomes 0. And you'll have value of cos 0 is 1, right? So, this becomes 1 by pi into e power 2 pi by 1 plus n square into minus n into 1 is minus n. Okay? Since cos 2n pi value is 1, you are having minus n here. So, minus n into 1 will be minus n minus e power 0 is 1 by 1 plus n square into minus n into value of cos 0 is 1. So, you will get minus n into 1 is minus n. So, this equals to 1 by pi into minus n into e power 2 pi by 1 plus n square minus into minus plus n by 1 plus n square. Take n common from these two terms. We will have n by pi into minus e power 2 pi by 1 plus n square plus 1 by 1 plus n square. Now take minus common from these two terms. So we will have minus n by pi into e power 2 pi by 1 plus n square minus 1 by 1 plus n square. So you would write it as minus n by pi into e power 2 pi minus 1 by 1 plus n square. 
Okay, so this is equals to minus n into e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi into 1 plus n square. So therefore, b n equals to minus n into e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi into 1 plus n square. Now we'll find the required Fourier series for the given function. We have f of x equals to a naught by 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos nx plus d n sin nx. Now substitute f of x a naught a n b n. You're having f of x equals to e power x equals to a naught is e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi into 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n a n is e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi into 1 plus n square into cos n x plus b n is minus n into e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi into 1 plus n square into sine nx. Okay, so you would write it as e power x equals to e power 2 pi minus 1 by 2 pi plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi into cos nx by 1 plus n square minus into plus is minus e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi into n sine nx n sine nx by 1 plus n square okay so from these two terms you are having e power 2 n minus 1 by pi common so you can take it outside the summation so you could write it as e power x equals to e power 2 pi minus 1 by 2 pi plus e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi into summation n equals to 1 to infinity cos nx by 1 plus n square minus n sine nx by 1 plus n square. Okay. So you could write it as e power x equals to e power 2 pi minus 1 by 2 pi plus e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi into summation n equals to 1 to infinity. Now you can take LCM. 1 plus n square in the numerator will have cos nx minus n sine nx. Okay? So in these two terms, you are having e power 2 and pi minus 1 by pi common, right? But here we will take 
e power 2 pi minus 1 by 2 pi common. So that you can write it as 1 plus 2, right? 2 into summation, n equals to 1 to infinity and so on. Here, 2 into this 1 will be e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi. 2, 2 gets cancelled and you'll get this one, right? Into cos nx minus n into sine nx by 1 plus n squared. Or from this, you can take simply e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi common. If you take e power 2 pi minus 1 by pi common, you will get 1 by 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity cos nx minus n sine nx by 1 plus n square. Okay. So therefore, therefore, you bar equal e power x equals to this the required for your series for the given function and open interval 0 to 2 pi. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from Fourier series in this video. Hope you will understand and see you in the next video. Bye bye.